Hey everyone, I was working on a top down game and wanted to make a pickup system where the player can pick some item and drop wherever they like. So I made this. Now it might not be the best way of doing it but it's very simple without any mathematical calculations so that it's very easy to make however you like. Now before jumping in Godot, let me explain how it's gonna work. So here I have an image explaining the whole mechanism. Here each block represents an individual scene. So the first we have a player, then we have an HUD scene where we will show all of our buttons and a box which we are going to pick. Ok so first the player will detect if he is near a box or not. And if the player detect a box, it will send a signal to the HUD. Here the pick button has two state, either show button or hide button. So as we receive a signal from the player, we will show the pick button on the screen. But if the player got away from the box again, then it will send a signal to the HUD to hide the pick button. Now let's say we click the pick button. Then we need to change 4 things. First we will hide the pick button because we have already picked it. Then we delete the box from the scene. Then we will make the drop button visible. And at last we will also change a player sprite which will now carry a box with it. Now we can move wherever we want and when we want to drop the box, we click the drop button. And when we click the drop button, it will again change 3 things. First we will now hide the drop button. Then we change the player sprite to the normal one. And at last we add the box to the game according to the player's location. And that's all we are going to do today. Believe me, it's even more simpler than it sounds. I have also made an image in which player is carrying the box. Now let's open the Godot. This will help us to identify the box from other objects. Now open the player scene and give it some ability to detect the box. For this, simply add an area 2D node and then add a collision 2D under it. Then set the shape of the collision 2D whatever you like. So when the player detect a box, we want to send a signal to HUD scene. For that, I will come into the world scene and make the player editable. This will allow me to add signal directly to the HUD. So add the body entered signal from the box detector to the HUD. We also wanted to connect the body exit signal as well. So we can hide the pick button as we go away. Right now I have made two buttons, one for pickup and one for drop. And initially the visibility is set to false in both of them. And in the body entered signal, we will set the visibility to true. Now in the body entered function, we check if the body is in the box group or not. And if it is, we will make the pick button visible. So these two connections are completed. Now we add the press signal from pick button. And when the button is pressed, we will first hide the pick button and show the drop button. Two more connections completed. Then we have to delete the box from the scene. For this, create a variable box. And when we detect it, we save it in the box variable. Now when we pick it up, we use the variable to delete the box from the scene. Now we just need to change the player image which contain the box. For this, in the animation sprite, I will create a new state called pig and add the image we created in it. Now in the player script, create a variable called pig and set it to false by default. So when we are changing the animation, we first check that if we have not picked the box, then we show the normal animation and if we pick the box, then we will show the picked animation we created. Do the same thing wherever you are setting the animation for the player. Now we have picked the box or not is determined by whether we have pressed the pick button or not. So to send the information from HUD to player, we will create a signal box picked in the HUD. So when we are pressing the pick button, we will emit the box picked signal. Now in the world scene, we will connect our signal to the player. And now when we get the signal, we will set the pick to true and play the picked animation. By this, all of these connections are completed. As you can see now, we are getting pick button as we get close to it and it disappear as we move away. And when we pick it up, the player sprite and the button both changes. Now the only thing left is to set the drop button. So add the press signal from the drop button. First we need to hide the box that means change the player sprite to idle. So to connect to the player, we will create another signal box drop and emit it when we click the drop button. Now again in the world scene, we connect our signal to the player script. And inside it, we set the pick to false and change the player animation to idle. Now two more connections are completed. Now to add a box again in the game, we first go to the player scene and add a position 2D node. This will be the position where we'll add the box. Now when we detect the drop button, we just need to add an box instance to the game. Now preload the box scene and save it in the box variable. Make sure you create an instance of it. Then set the global position of the box to the global position of our box position. And finally we add the box to the game by adding box as a child of our current scene. Congratulations, it's all done. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any doubt, write down in the comment section. Like and share this video with your friends. And also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.